Hey everybody, the Reese Wirral here, and welcome to Mars Warlogs. This is a new Let's Play. This was originally, like my idea in uh, originally, was to have this game replace Techno Kit and Adventure, but then I decided, actually, this game deserves its own LP, as opposed to being like a replacement LP. So, that's why I've decided to start this anew. It's quite lucky because I did do like a a, f a couple hour session the other day and basically what happened was it fucked up. Oh no, it didn't it didn't actually fuck up. It just I didn't like how it looked. So I decided to just scrap it, start again. And that's when I was like, actually I'll switch this and earthworm gym around. It would make more sense that way. Anyway, let's start a new game. And I'm going for medium because I don't want it to be too difficult. And I don't want it to be too easy. But this game was made by Spiders Interactive is what I think they're called. And that is the people who made Bound by Flame. But this game came out a hell of a lot earlier and you can tell that. And there's going to be dialogue. Up to my neck in the war before I knew it. So I'm going to shut up. Before I saw it coming. Okay. <laughs> I'll talk occasionally, just not constantly, because I don't want to interrupt what he's talking about. <laughs> but this game actually looks pretty good, considering it's an arcade game. I was pleasantly surprised. To be quite honest. I was never much for politics. The rivalries between the water kills was something that didn't concern me. I was a teenager, and I had my own set of problems. True that. Thinking back, I was a pretty carefree kid living a good life. Oh. My friends and I got together to talk and do nothing most every night. That doesn't sound very fun. And then one morning, the soldiers came to take me away. Me and a lot of other guys from the neighborhood. To defend the guild. Why does he look so happy? I think I was actually proud at first. They gave me a uniform and a gun. And then, I understood. Up close, war doesn't make you a hero. It makes you tired. It's nothing more than bloody marches. Blistering days. Men stacked up against each other in sweaty trenches. Stinking. Covered in lice. Sounds like paradise. <laughs> if only. So exhausted we can't sleep. Shaking from the thought of what the next night will bring. Hmm. The night. Infernal marches. Tramping through blood and shit. Shit. I like how he says that. Herded like cattle by overzealous officers, sending wave after wave of idiots like me off to get butchered, screaming at us like it was all our fault. Stupid kids who shit themselves at the first sight of a blade and cried like babies when ordered back to the front. The lighting effects of this game are pretty strange. Cool, but strange at the same time, so you know. It could have gone on like that until I ended up face down in the dirt, but I was one of the lucky ones, captured and stuck in a wagon full of guys I barely knew. They rounded us up and tossed us in a cattle car, packed in like mutants, and sent us far away behind enemy lines. I don't know if it's night or day. I completely lost track of time. And that's the end of the intro. It's kind of lengthy because it's mostly dialogue. And after this it's followed by, you know, more dialogue. The one thing I will know... Nothing really mattered to me anymore. That look as if I'm home. But no, there's one thing... God damn it. If you watch your step, we will get along just fine. I'll just say in a minute. <laughs> hmm. They shoved us out, lined us up, and welcomed us to our new home. Hmm. Sounds good. You're about to meet the sand pit. I want every one of you clean within the hour. 
You will then be taken to the registration office. You will inform them of what you know how to do, and you will be assigned a post and a bunk. Now, get going. Fall out. A new day. At least we got a chance to clean ourselves up, even if all we had was sand. But one thing you'll notice with this game is that lip syncing really isn't this company's strong suit. Even with Bound by Flame, the lip syncing isn't the greatest. But for me, lip syncing is not really that big of a deal. I mean, I loved Fallout 3, Oblivion, Fallout New Vegas, Skyrim, and lip syncing on those games were not really that good. It's the gameplay that gets me, nothing else. Anyway, I'm going to shut up because this is a pretty uh, interesting scene. You meet the most perverted person ever, named Fatso. You'll know him when you see him. He's very vulgar tongued. Ah, there he is. Get a load of these fellas. Fresh meat. Uh, this just makes my day. I was getting tired of drilling the same old asses. There he is. Does it actually see? Yeah, it does. Ew. <laughs> and there's who we play as, Roy Temperance. Whoa. What do you want? He's got two different coloured eyes. Okay, got your tongue. What are you special? Is that it? Huh? You a nutcase? Maybe you get off watching. Go take a seat. After all. This is the only entertainment you'll get in here. <laughs> Isn't that right, guys? <laughs> he don't look impressed. <clears throat> uh, you just won't stop yakking, will ya? Spit it out, you got something to say. <sighs> He's like shitting himself. Nobody can understand your squeaking boy. We want to find you, we will. This place ain't big enough to hide from us. You crazy. You need to be put down. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, Roy. What are you, insane? You looking for pain? You mental? Fucked in the head? Nah, nah, I don't need this. You're already dead. Sick fuck. Just think about what you're gonna do to this poor bitch. Brings a tear to my eye. I I just can't watch. I'm sensitive. Forget it, guys. This cunt's not me. <gasps> I don't want to catch what he's got. He called me a cunt. Wow. That's not really used in games that much. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Innocence does not look happy. He's like, oh fuck, what have I got into now? Hey, uh, thanks. Thanks for the help. I couldn't just stand there and do nothing. Mid's history, forget it. I wasn't gonna just stand here and watch him. How are you doing? Better. It's weird, I, I feel better than I have in a while. Thanks again. God damn it. Forget it. You need to toughen up fast if you want to survive here. Look, I'm going, and I advise you to follow. You need to keep moving. There's nothing but bad endings here. If that fat guy gets you in a corner... You're fucked. Uh, I'm leaving now. Good stuff. Welcome to Mars Warlogs. Which I had a tendency of calling Rust for God knows what reason. Scavenging. Containers of pi and piles of waste can be searched in order to find different sorts of materials. These can be used to craft items such as ammunition or upgrades for your arms and armor, or just traded for other resources. Now we got three scrap metal. Nice. Yeah, you'll know where the uh, waste piles are because they're very notable. Hey, the mechanic. Oh shit, this stuff is finished. I'll never be able to fix it here. And they'll never change it. Oh, fuck me. I will pass, but I might be able to help. 
Hey, hey, I'm working. I'm not here to shoot the shit. You just seem to be spinning your wheels, is all. Shit, this camp's a ruin. I don't have what I need to repair the thermal conductors or the sand pump. And I need something to tighten these bolts. And of course, my wrench is broken. I'm keeping busy, though. I can always unblock the sand extractor. Well, that's nice. Maybe I can help? I'm not too busy just now. Can I give you a hand? Looking for something in exchange, I guess? <laughs> if you can dig up some parts and a wrench, I'll be grateful. But I already took everything in the stock, and I got no idea where to look now. What do you need? What exactly do you need? I need two resistors, three bits of sheet metal, and a number nine wrench. Ooh. I'll get that for you. If you can do that, man, pretty much a wasteland equipment-wise round here. <laughs> <laughs> Why help the mechanic? I mean, even if he seems all right, he's still an enemy. Yeah, true, but I think it could be useful for us to get on his good side. He could give us equipment or serum. Oh, yeah. Serum is the source, not sauce, wait, is sauce the right word? No, the form of currency. And now we have the combat tutorial. With, of course, more dialogue. Did you have fun? I hope she's still wet, because I'm going to ride her hard. God damn it. I've been waiting for you. Me and the guys decided that we didn't appreciate your attitude. You may be crazy. But even if you're too fucked up to know when to open your mouth, we decided we'll show you how to close it. Right, time to teach you some manners, darling. Live and learn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is very, very difficult. Don't it pop up with a tutorial? Maybe not. Fuck you! You do a combination of guard breaks and attacks. And that's how you hurt people. Come on. Attack me. Or don't. You can do counters, which is what I'm trying to do, just to show it off. There we go. Come on, counter. Damn it. Oh well, never mind. Ooh hoo hoo. Bye bye. Well, we finish with your friend. Ah, you've little shit. Punch him in the face. Throw sand in his eyes. Ah, he's fucked. Bye. Eh, <laughs> We win. God damn it. These wrecks to the infirmary. They nearly got killed. <laughs> it's the same thing. Every time we get new arrivals, always gets them excited. Some days I wish I was at the front. Come yes. You, you you could have killed them. Damn straight. What do you think those bastards would have done to us if it had been our faces buried in the sand? You gotta do what it takes. By the way, the name is Roy, and yours? My name's Innocence. Roy? Aren't you from Aurora? Afraid so. They called me Temperance back then, but I chose Roy. Those virtue names aren't really my thing. Oh, okay. I guess Temperance doesn't fit. Okay, let's go to the mess hall. We need to talk. Yeah, let's go to the mess hall. We need to find a place where we can talk. Okay, I'm right behind you. Good. Level up. Congratulations, you just went up your first level. Press left to check your skills. 
skill tree in the in-game menu and unlock new abilities. Let's do it.